Hey guys, it's your boy Enzo, and this year's E3 titles has been somewhat amusing. Especially right now that they are introducing the next generation of gaming. So for today's episode, we will share our thoughts on the games that we are really looking forward to. So without further ado, let's go! So first up is Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite had a rocky start in the first reveal in 2020, with people outraged and freaking out at the game looking like it was lacking textures and the look of the brutes. Needless to say, Halo didn't get a good impression, but in E3 2021, Microsoft revealed more footage and it looked gorgeous compared to the first trailer a year ago. They clearly heard the fans' outrage of this and worked on those. They also showed us a trailer showing that the game is continuing from the books with Chief and his new AI partner. Microsoft also gave us a look into the multiplayer, which got us real excited and it looks like there will be new gadgets or armor pickups and new looks of the Spartan matching the Chief new look. There are also new maps and weapons which we can't wait to use and we hope that the multiplayer will deliver the classic Halo experience that we all want. Next up is Elden Ring. For a long time we were wondering if we were ever going to hear about this game and we thought it was one of those games that might now push through. Then all of a sudden during E3 we finally got a date. Elden Ring is real. And for software, players are thrilled for the wonderful news of the game that features gigantic creatures, magic, a fantastic looking world, and most probably a life crippling game difficulty. Not only this, but one of the writers of the game is the one and only George R.R. Martin, the writer of Game of Thrones. The game looks incredible and the world looks massive to have a ride through all of the terrains with a horse which is reminiscent of the game Shadow of Colossus. The combat seems similar to Dark Souls but it looks like it mixes mobility of Sekiro, magic, and the fantasy weaponry and we are all excited to get our hands and play it. Next up is Metroid Dread. It's been a while since we had a new Metroid, especially not one in a platform setup. Metroid fans have been waiting and praying for a new game and during the E3, Nintendo gave us footage of the Metroid Dread and Metroid fans loved every single thing about it. The now 3D platformer and the revamped look of Samus Aran and the world of Metroid looks really awesome. The movement of Samus looks really smooth and quick and the combat looks really fun. The look and feel is a mix of new and old and it brings us joy in seeing fans of the series. Nintendo brought Samus back to the scene and the game looks incredible. I can't wait to play it when it arrives for the Switch in October. And next up comes Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. When Nintendo released the teaser of Breath of the Wild 2, fans were excited by the chance to return to Hyrule and fight the new threat that's going to destroy the world again. During E3, they released new footage of the story along with the gameplay and it really caught my eyes glued on the screen upon seeing the extended world in the sky. They expanded the already massive world of Hyrule and added new mechanics and the gameplay for the players. We are very interested to see how the story of Breath of the Wild will go to find out who or what is the new threat that is going to ruin the peace. Breath of the Wild is a very good game and it captured the feeling of going into an adventure because of its open world and very excellent story of redemption and the face of defeat and I can't wait to see the new things that's going to happen in the sequel. Next we have Battlefield 2042. Battlefield is back and this time we are fast forwarding to the future of 2042. If you ever played a Battlefield game, you may say that this game is all about the multi and fighting a 64 man game server in an experience to all those people who haven't tried it yet. And I don't blame you. The rush of 32 versus 32 people couple that with the vehicles, land, sea, and air. Who wouldn't love the chaos? <laughs> But if you make it 128 players in one server, that's a whole different ball game. The game looks incredible and there are new gadgets and weapons for us to use, also new maps with destructible walls and dramatic maps that changes that we expect from Battlefield. This will be a very interesting experience and it got me excited to get the boys and play a few matches. Next we have Forza Horizon 5. Racing fans, behold and rejoice! Forza is back and it looks amazing, with the next gen graphics like any Forza game, but more so now. The environment, the cars, and the feel, god, it's just eye candy seeing the game, especially now. The physics look freaking tight and the cars look absolutely gorgeous. Racing with your buds in a very aesthetic place and we can't wait to see it in action when it comes out. Next we have Stalker. Kept you waiting, huh? 
The long-awaited sequel in the hit game Stalker is here, and it looks great. The trailer didn't show much, but it showed enough for those players who don't know the world of Stalker. And this game captures the horrors and trials of the zone. Set in Chernobyl, this game shows the horrors of a radioactive touched area, the fight for resources, and what horrors of mutation can do to a man and living creatures. The game retains the careful blend of horror and action much like its predecessor. If you're really into those creepy games, you should really give the Stalker games a try before the new game arrives. It's a classic and it might be dated, but it will prepare you for the world that you can see in the sequel. Next we have Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is a classic JRPG and now it's getting a new spin on the classic story of the Stranger of Paradise. The game is developed by Team Ninja, the team behind Ninja Gaiden and Dissidia NT, and I'm very interested to see what they did to the story of the first Final Fantasy. The combat looks really responsive and a little different compared to Final Fantasy XV, and the story intrigues the Final Fantasy fan inside me. So those are some of the games that we are very excited to play. So, what do you guys think about the list? Which games are you excited to play? Leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and don't forget to visit yugatech.com gaming for more news, tips, and tricks. It's your boy Enzo, and stay safe.